We're using fresh milk from our buddy James Norris's dairy at Abbott and a separator that we ordered off Amazon from somewhere in the Ukraine. The first and foremost thing about separating the milk is sanitation, so be sure you get some type of sanitizer. This is Star San, although I'm sure there's others. Check with a winemaker supplier and you can find one. So we've sanitized all the parts and our hands, and now we can assemble the machine to begin. There's a number of discs that make up the main working part of the separator, and it's important not to tighten the assembly too much. Not too little, but not too much. This unit runs on European power, 220 volts, so you need to buy a transformer for U.S. electric circuits. We had to raise the unit to make it work with the containers that we have. Notice the notch in the side of the hopper. It corresponds with the narrow side of this plastic cutoff valve that goes in the bottom of the hopper. When you point the small end toward the notch, you're completely open, and that's going to let too much milk through. Turning it 90 degrees will shut it off completely, so start slowly and let just a bit of milk through. Then adjust the level so that it is continuous, but not too slow so that it takes all afternoon to do a gallon of milk. It's important that the milk be warm won't separate at refrigerated temperatures. The cream will come out the upper spout. It will start fairly slowly because it has to run through all those discs we saw earlier. Oops, here the weep hole is overflowing milk out the side of the machine and that means that we have pushed the milk through too fast. The machine is stopped up. The cream is partly turning to butter and it just can't get through to the spout. When we disassemble the spinner we can see that the butter is forming on the inside of the discs and it's preventing that cream from moving through. It is good butter though. One thing you'll find is that you can really get hooked on having your own fresh yogurt and butter from the milk and cream. And once you do, you will not want to go back to buy milk at the store.